Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm talking about something that happened around six months back, and it was just really almost just like, what the fuck is wrong with people? So six months ago, I was hanging out with a buddy of mine at his house, and my friend got invited to go to, I guess, a party. I don't know. It started off as not a party, and then it went into a party. So originally, it was just kind of like a cool hangout thing with like four people, and I was allowed to go with him, and then it turned into something else, and I'm just going to get into it. We show up to this place. I'm just skipping to this part. So I was hanging out with my friend. We get invited to this thing. It was supposed to be just a chill little like fun, just hanging out thing, you know? The more I make it sound like that, it just sounds like it's some gay get together. Anyway, <laughs> we show up, we walk in and it's just like a bonfire thing. It was pretty cool. And like, I think in total, we had like six people and then another guy showed up with his girlfriend. They were pretty cool. And then his girlfriend's friend came over and then my friend just started inviting all these people pretty much. And I ended up in total having like 15 to 20 people. And I know that doesn't sound too nuts. It really wasn't at first. But one person in the group was a fucking idiot. Like, I think this guy went to bed every night watching Elvin and the Chipmunks, drinking like six monsters at a time, and just like tweaking out to the three fucking Chipmunks. I think that's what this dude did. That's how crazy he was. He kept doing this thing where he'd drink a whole beer, like chug it down, and then just run and jump over the fire. Like, it was a big bonfire. He would jump over the pit and then dunk the can in, like, the recycling bin thing, because that's where it was, on the other side. And he kept doing it, right? And finally, the unlucky time came. Every hero has their falling point, right? This dude shotguns an entire beer with my friend, and he finishes it, and I just see him take the first step into running. He just starts running towards the fire pit, right? And I was like, oh no, this motherfucker's going for it again, right? And he goes to jump, and he hits one of the bricks on the fire pit, and just straight, like, pretty much dives over the fire. Like, he made it over the fire without burning his face off, but it wasn't supposed to be like that. He wasn't supposed to be diving over it. See, he tripped himself, and it made him go into, like, a, a diving position kind of thing. But when he landed, his feet were still in the fucking fire. He burned himself. Now, luckily, he was wearing boots. He had jeans on, so he didn't really seriously, like, light his fucking legs on fire while wearing shorts or something and, like, literally just blackened his legs but he freaked out he got back up and he was like checking his legs and just like he felt weird he was drunk and he just he was not doing well right he was bugging out so my friend's like all right look i'm gonna take you home and the guy's like no fuck you guys i'm getting my girlfriend to take me and we were like all right fine like we were just trying to help and he runs in the house gets his girlfriend and leaves okay <laughs> this motherfucker shows up an hour later with his mom he got his mom to come to my friend's friend's house and it wasn't just, it wasn't just this motherfucker's mom to come and yell at us. This fucker shows up with pepper spray. She's got a bottle of mace and she starts trying to pepper spray people. I'm pretty sure she did pepper spray people. She came at me with it and I was like, what the fuck? I actually want to try and like get her out of there. Like try and like, you know, stop her from doing it. But it's like, what am I about to do? Like deck someone's mom down? Like I'm not going to tackle some dude's mother. Like it's just fucking wrong. You don't do that. I'm just trying to make excuses right now because I know if I tried to, I'd get my ass beat by someone's mom. Anyway, back back on topic. This fucking lady is running around the backyard with pepper spray, just spraying that shit like it's Febreze. Like, apparently this is how modern day people crash parties. And she's screaming the same phrase over and over. You tried to get my kid to burn himself. Like, it was our fault that this fucking moron of her son was trying to be Superman and fly over fires. Like, we did not encourage that. I'm pretty sure one girl actually told him not to and to be careful that he'd hurt himself. And look what the fuck happened. People are getting pepper sprayed. Also, isn't that kind of hypocritical to be like, oh, you're trying to get my son to burn himself. And then you're literally going and burning people's eyes. Anyway, my friend kept screaming at her like to stop. And finally, he's like, I'm going to call the fucking cops and get you arrested. And this lady just dipped. She ran away. I've never seen an SUV peel out of someone's driveway so fucking fast. Now, I don't understand what happened to make her do this. I don't know if the guy like told her to go do it, like her son. Or if, like, she saw that he was, like, kind of freaked out about the whole thing and just tried to get revenge for him. Either way, she's a very, very fucked up lady. Like, I don't think I would ever want this person as my mother. Imagine you being the kid with the mom that goes to parties and pepper sprays people to end them. Anyway, after she left, we checked back up with everyone. We all, like, met up in the front yard and talked. And pretty much, like, most of us were fine. I was kind of bugging out because I thought, like, the fumes were going to get to me and, like, fuck me up. Because that shit's not fun. Don't ever get pepper sprayed. But a few people weren't doing too well, so we took them in and put, like, cold water in their eyes, and eventually they were fine. It took a while, but they were cool eventually. By the end of the night, everyone was good. But just, like, why? Like, whose mother does that to someone? 
she didn't even know like whose fault it was because there wasn't anyone to blame. It was her dumbass son. She literally just could have saved everyone the time and trouble if she just walked into her son's room and pepper sprayed her own son for being an idiot. Anyway, that's the fucking end. That was the end. That was like, one of the craziest party stories I'll probably ever tell. Leave a fucking like if you enjoyed it. And please, please leave your party stories in the comments down below or any stories because I just love reading them. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Just another day on the lonely earth Trying to see which ex gonna stone me first Search my soul for my own rebirth And convince myself that I don't need church What is my self-worth? In a state of panic, depression gets hard to manage New York hurt my heart, but made me a man Rhode Island's like a different planet Am I not brave? Uh, does that make me a coward? Used to want to save the world, put a cape on But does this world always? Conscious Kari became Captain Kari For the sake of myself and the sake of you Cause there's no telling what one might do